Hello! This was one of my favorite matches on the card because all my friends kept saying we had no chance versus his opponent, that you don't see too many Asian martial artists excel in the UFC, etc, etc. Their reaction was hilarious, especially considering Lee straight walked through his opponent. I believe this world invites all, so as long as they are humble to its ever-evolving science, and that it's just a matter of time before all walks dominate in their own way. Not because of ethnic aptitude, but due to their ability to play to their own unique individual aptitudes. That said, Lee's upset is why I truly enjoy this sport. Let's take a glance into the shot that instantly won Lee the match, then ask why it turned out the way it did. Now, I must first say, the low kick is one of the most practical and effective tools, but like any move used too frequently, it can be timed against, especially in MMA. Why is this? Because some Muay Thai and or kickboxing organizations do not let you hold kicks, but that is definitely not the case in MMA. If you also consider the smaller gloves, you have given the warrior access back to one of the most powerful tools in the animal kingdom, the opposable thumb. If the shot is absorbed and the recovery is not fast enough, a firm grip may be established to allow greater capacity to pull your opponent off balance. And when your opponent is off balance, weight transfer into a shot to keep you off them becomes much more difficult. You create a window of limited mobility and limited weight transfer allowing safer passage to strike your opponent. Also, with the smaller MMA gloves. The high guard is virtually useless in the situation Lee took advantage of. To better understand this, let's take an even deeper glance. Lee sees the one for the kick, and he does something counterintuitive. He does not check the kick. Instead, he does what I call trading. By stepping in, Lee decides to absorb the kick and take damage. Why? So he can trade the damage he takes for an opportunity to strike his opponent's chin. Shock absorbed, damage taken, but firm grip on calf muscle established. During that sequence where he stepped in, he also loaded up his cross. He was clearly waiting for this. Opponent shells into high guard, seeing the cross, but pulled off balance. Lee's clean technique and precision make it virtually useless. Gap in between elbows, through that window, Lee straight smashes the off switch. A cool mind, timing and precision, Lee shared with us a key difference between MMA and other disciplines. To that end, thank you, Lee Jingliang and UFC for the privilege to watch. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like button if you did. It's good karma, and until next time, peace.